If you are watching this video, chances are that you have identified your organization as a lessee of property or non-property assets. And you need to know what steps to take to ensure that your financial statements are compliant with the revised lessee accounting standards. Before continuing with this video, we recommend that you watch the quick tour video using balance sheet lessee accounting to familiarize yourself with the new lease management features of JD Edwards Enterprise One. Now that you have an understanding of the balance sheet lessee accounting process, we are going to discuss how to set up your system for balance sheet lessee accounting. First, we will discuss how to set up the system constants, depreciation defaults, and account information. Next, we will discuss how to create bill codes and set up AAIs that you need to generate journal entries for your leased assets. Let's start with the Real Estate Management Constants program P1510. In Real Estate Management Constants, define the default processing method for balance sheet lessee accounting and the default value for the reasonably certain to exercise option flag. The generate unit asset constant determines whether the system automatically creates asset records when you create a unit record. Use the populate subledger option to indicate whether or not the system creates journal entries for the lessee balance sheet accounting AAIs by subledger. Then use the activate balance sheet accounting flag to activate all of these features in your system. Next, we will set up the financial systems. First, you must define asset accounts for your property and non-property assets using the review and revise accounts program P0901. These are examples of accounts you need to enter. You must ensure that the object accounts associated with your leased assets are within the defined ranges for fixed assets. In order to account for the assets properly, the right of use asset accounts need to be in the FC range of AAIs and the accumulated amortization accounts need to be in the FD range of accounts. Both accounts must be in the FX range of AAIs as well. In the fixed asset system, you then define the depreciation default coding information using the depreciation defaults program P12002. The depreciation default has to be set to no depreciation as leased assets will be amortized through the lease accounting system rather than being depreciated through fixed assets. Next, set up the bill codes that you will use to define the different types of manual and recurring payments you will make for your leased assets. When you set up bill code records, you can specify how those records will impact balance sheet calculations such as lease liability calculation and ROU asset calculation. To complete the setup on the financial side, you must set up automatic accounting instructions or AAIs that are used specifically for balance sheet lessee accounting. This is set up for the right of use asset and accumulated amortization accounts you set up earlier. These AAIs define which accounts the system uses to post entries to the general ledger. Now your system setup is complete and you are ready to start entering lessee leases into the system. To learn more about balance sheet lessee accounting, see the online JD Edwards Enterprise One Applications Documentation Library on docs.oracle.com or visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.